All right, my name is Jonathan Milner, and this is the response time tester right here. Uh, I worked on this project with Josh Blitz and Priya Sokin. Um, basically, what this pro project is about is uh, proprioception. Uh, it was commissioned by UNC Med School. Um, what it is is the ability for you to take your leg and move it out to a location and then move it back and then move it out to the same location. That's uh, the definition of proprioception. And so what we did was uh, we, we made improvements on these old designs. The old designs for proprioception were basically very large, clunky, used mach like machines that weren't able to be moved anywhere. Uh, they weren't able to be taken to people's houses or anything like that. So what they wanted us to do was actually build something that could be taken places and have different multiplanar motion. So what we built here was this response time tester, which is basically uh, what you can see here, this huge board, um, and then a program running in here. Our design process consists of uh, LabVIEW here, which is the actual program and GUI that everybody will see, which speaks into this board, which has an MCU in it, and then a, a bunch of lights that are all connected. Uh, a quick little demonstration will be, uh, it's actually running right now. So what happens is your home button will start, a patient will sit right in this front area and like kind of a bench that hangs over a little bit. And what they'll be able to do is start here, hit the home button, and then another button will light up, number seven right here, and then the home button again. And you kind of go back and forth to all the different buttons. Um, of course, they'll be sitting over it so they can reach all the buttons at the same time. What happens is in between hitting the home button and any of the buttons that light up is you actually get a response time. And uh, a big thing with this is the fact that you can um, set it up here in the actual program on this page and, and choose which button lights up in which order so it's not a, a static test. You can change it every single time that you run it and you can actually move the buttons around. And so that gives a whole different dimension to it as opposed to having a the same motion over and over that a, a patient can get used to and not learn anything from.